Okie dokie. So I'm about to A your cues. That seems inappropriate. We're gonna kind of do this as I'm on the go. <laughs> Here's a question. How was your coming out? Hmm, sort of a spark note version. Uh, I grew up in a Roman Catholic household. We were, we were pretty involved in the church. Um, I went to a lot of Jesus camps. I was Bible camp counselor, you know. Uh, most of my friends were part of my parish. So I was pretty immersed. <laughs> I was kind of the cliche Christian horse girl. And not to say that you can't have a positive experience within Christianity and being gay, but just my experience wasn't, wasn't very positive. Unfortunately, there was a lot of shame and guilt around sexuality, and then queer sexuality was like so bad you didn't even discuss it. So growing up, I was very confused about my feelings and kind of just terrified of anything sexual or anything that was outside of the... <laughs> the heterosexual Christian realm. And also, I grew up in the early 2000s with cable TV, so there was like no queer representation and definitely no positive queer representation for kids around that time. And I also didn't know any gay people in real life. So when I started to realize that these feelings that I was having were not normal, I... it was scary. <laughs> I didn't really have anybody that I felt safe enough to talk to, so I just kind of isolated myself. I was just disassociated from myself. I was trying to, you know, fit the mold and really trying to suppress so many things. And it was just a very confusing, kind of scary time. But thankfully, I met some incredible people that really helped me find self-acceptance and kind of come out to myself first and then to other people. Both were very terrifying. <laughs> the journey of self-acceptance and self-exploration and self-discovery is pretty challenging. I don't think anybody really has a, an easy time with the whole process, but it is pretty amazing how life just opens up to you when you decide to go down that route and when you face those challenges and face those fears and kind of keep going through those levels of, of your own self-exploration. It makes life more magical. So, please do that. Do you live off grid? So currently, I don't. I don't really live anywhere. I'm kind of in an unintentional vagabond phase. So doing a lot of drifting through small towns, car camping, hostel hopping, and staying with friends. Eventually, I will be able to unpack my bags a little bit more permanently somewhere. And this phase has been a little bit outside my comfort zone because I'm usually just. I'm usually just such a homebody, and I like to like root somewhere, but. There's been a lot of benefit to just kind of drifting through, um, connecting with different communities and just being able to explore more of the province. So it's been an adventure. Who films your videos? Me, myself, and my $5 tripod. Here is evidence. <laughs> is it recording? Good. Recording. What can't you do? I feel like that's supposed to be a compliment, which is really nice, but I am, I, some days I barely function, so there's a lot that I can't do. <laughs> Obviously on social media you just get very small curated snippets, and there's a lot more to it than that. I am a very flawed human being and struggle with a lot of just functions, so a lot is my answer. <laughs> have you always been outdoorsy or did it come more as an adult? Growing up I didn't really have a lot of friends but I would always be drawn to the forest and it's gonna sound cliche but the forest has always been kind of my best friend. When I'm in nature I feel like I can be myself. I feel I never feel alone. I feel like this is this is my safe place. It's almost hard to describe but it's Ah, oh, man, it's magical. <laughs> so nature has always been something I've been very drawn to and get super curious about. And yeah, it's just, it's great. <laughs> Where is your girlfriend? I wasn't even aware that I was currently in a relationship. So I don't know who she is or where she is, but hope she's doing okay. <laughs> what are your tattoos? So this was my first tattoo, which I got from a wonderful friend of mine who I eventually dated for a bit. That's pretty gay. And then I have a mountain landscape on my leg 
It's based off of the Valhalla mountain ranges in BC, which is one of my favorite places. Well, I think that's enough aing for today. And as always, thank you so much for watching and sending in questions and just, just being a part of this. So, yeah. Bye!